Okay, hey guys, what's up? Sorry, I had a client show up early, but then another client showed up at the same time. So that threw me off a minute. But you you love running a tight ship, right? I love running a tight ship, so. Okay, let me make sure we're good here. Good there. You guys can hear me okay? Okay, we're going to go here with it. Let me get the file and I'll be right back. Okay. Whew. How's everyone doing? What's up? Pet parent is in the lobby waiting for me. Yorkie is ready to go. She got here early and I had another client walk in. It's just like, whoo, it was hectic. I had started you guys off. So hopefully you guys are like, what's up? And I'm pushing this table over. We have a special treat today. We have, um, hi you guys. Hi. Facebook, YouTube. I appreciate you guys. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe, like, and share. And, uh, whoo, let's see here. Alexandra Koritowska, is that Russian by chance? Hi, how are you? Pookie Puppy, aloha. We were just talking. Hester, hey, what's up? Pookie Puppy, worth the wait. Thank you so much for being understanding. This is, so this is all live. Linda King, right now it is live. Thanks for watching. Be sure you hit that like button and hit the share. And Joey, thanks for being the first one to comment. All right, so we are going to... I, I need to get a charger when I go get the Yorkie, so don't let me forget to put that on a charger. Now, here's a little backstory. This is Diesel, okay? Diesel! <laughs> Diesel! Man, when Rambo, Diesel, I mean, Rowdy, um, these dogs with these wild names usually come in acting wild. 
So I'm gonna just tell you a secret. Be careful how you call your dog. Like I'm calling Tiger Tiger out there because he looks like a tiger. I'll just tell you, if the more I call him that, maybe the energy I put into that tiger feeling will transfer to him and I do believe in that. So I do believe that the way we call our dogs or the energy we transfer to them, they may replicate it. Lion or Rowdy. Rowdy was an aggressive dog that nipped me twice. Um, if you are naming your dogs like that, expect, expect it, expect some return on it. So we've got this little, he's like this big. And this pet parent said this, aggressive, they do walk. They have half an acre on of their house, they have half acre, so they play ball a lot. Um, she was walking with a harness, I said that's not the same thing as a leash and collar, I recommend leash and collar. Cesar Milan, love you out there. If you use a leash and collar, or a simple lead or a slip lead, you will find more production in the brain activities that happen in the leadership that's transferred down the line to your dog. If you're using a harness, you can, man, I tried to grab a harness with a leash on it the other day, the dog would not look at me. There was no mind, neck, jaw, brain connection. It was just the dog looking around and his body being pulled by the harness. So two different things. Mind work is what we wanna do when we're doing training, when we're walking. Okay, this is what she also said. This is what the owner said. Bites the groomer. Bit the groomer. Seems like when Diesel is at his house, having a stranger come and pets it, having a stranger come into the house, he's cool with it. But when he goes somewhere else, he might not be okay. They used a pet sitting place. He didn't do great. He is very aggressive with the towel. This is a rescue dog. She got him from like that um, website, like Adopt Me. He is aggressive with the towel. I'm gonna forget this. I'm so gonna forget this. This is where they always get me. I forget to put that cone head while I'm drying them with the towel and boom. So I need to remember this. He is letting her do some trimming with scissors only. Scissoring around the face, the eyes, and she says it, it looks like a mess because she doesn't know what she's doing. One of the big box stores says, can't do his head. They did everything else but said, well, we can't do his head. See you later. There you go. The daycare at that particular co corporate business said they had a problem with him as well. Had issues there too, is what she said. Couldn't get out of the cage. So like fear, have you ever seen that fear aggression in cage? Have you ever been bit when you try to reach in and grab a dog out of a cage? That's if you're in the industry. If you own a dog like that or rescued a dog and put a dog in a cage, you might find that happens to you too. So thank goodness we're not gonna cage him today. I told the owner you can sit, wait, and watch, have a little beverage on me and watch me groom your dog and then we'll go from there. All right, so I'm gonna get a charger and I'm gonna bring the dog and I'll be right back.
Guys, how many of you guys nervous? Anybody nervous? Oh, I'm always a little. I got my guard up. I'm ready for this. Oh heck no. Oh heck no. She's gonna hand them to me. She's gonna hand them to me with the butt first and he's like mm-hmm. No, no sir. Everybody breathe. Breathe. <laughs> so it's about to go down. Okay, we'll do a 24 inch loop. I'm gonna do a, a round because I'm gonna put that cone head on quick first. Okay, we're gonna bring two cone heads. Alright? Like no joke. Say we ain't having no joking around over here. Okay. And we got female doodle over here trying to let me know. Did she say is she Russian? Did she say she's Russian out there? Shh. like this later on. Yes, you are. When I load it, you're going to like it, baby. Okay.
Okay, now that we've got you, I like how you have literally calmed down in my arms, okay? He was not calm a second ago at all. He was arguing, nipping, biting, reacting like an animal, okay? So here we are. I'm giving him a moment since he's doing it. He's calm. I think he's wondering. Are you wondering? I think he's wondering what's up and what's Didi gonna do. He got calm fast. Um, kind of got calm fast after he realized maybe nothing was happening. I'm not sure. You know. Everyone breathe. I don't even have a trash bag in there. Breathe. Trash bag. Not really. Breathe. Are you happy? Are you happy, though? Are you happy, though? Hmm. Okay. You know, sometimes things happen for a reason in their own way, like me having to, you know, take my time and go get this trash bag and hold him. Sometimes things happen because they need to happen. You ever, you're, you know what I'm talking about? Sometimes things just happen because they need to happen. Like, they were bound to already happen the way they should have happened to begin with. You nervous? He's squinting, shaking like, like that. Look at his trash bag. See this is a trash bag? See that? See that? Right? Yeah? Okay. So this is going in here. It has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you, okay? Loud noises, right? Right? Loud noises and stuff like that. Right? Yeah? Okay, so I know you're really nervous right now. I don't see it in your body, but I do see it in the way you're looking at things. And since you've been an issue at other places. I know that we might have some problems. Shh. I'm not looking at you directly in your eye because I don't want to piss you off even more. See, he's not reacting to that at all. Oh, oh, there you go. Look at that birdie face. Look at that birdie face. We have some work to do with your body, okay? You have some light tangles, you know what I mean? You have a, like some light tangles happening everywhere. Hi. Right. Make sure you're breathing, okay? Hi, are you getting ready for me? I am getting ready for you. Licking the tongue is a sign that he wants to bite me or touch me. I'm monitoring it. I'm paying attention. As much as I want to rush, I'm not going to rush. I'm going to breathe and deal with what he's telling me in the way he's looking at me. Because I want to be able to have a good relationship with him in the long run. I don't know what he's been through. He's a rescue dog. I know that he's aggressive and he will bite the groomer. I know those things. Those are facts. Someone could have hurt him with the clipper. Someone could have hurt him just strangling him. Someone could have threw him around. They were upset by the way he's acting. Camaro girl, what's up? Hi, baby boy. Hi, baby boy. You got pretty teeth. Yeah, you got pretty teeth. They're like right in a little line. Yeah. Can I come here with it? Can I come here with it?
loose, okay? All that, this rope, this is loop, groom loop, all that's loose. What dogs will do, this is on, it's vibrating, my clipper is on to throw him off, okay? What dogs will do is hold their breath when they're gonna attack, period. So you will see that's happening now because there's no constriction. There's no constriction, it's just stress, maybe some horrible memories, and we've got some mats we definitely need to get off. So this is on. Now I'm turning it off. I'm turning this off. I'm going to look at this. Boom. 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 It's all matted. This isn't matted, right? This isn't matted. This isn't matted. This is. This isn't matted. Deeper in, there's tangles. This is matted, okay? Mats are painful. And like I groomed that dog yesterday live, some dogs will not have you doing a little tangle, let alone a big tangle, talking about matted, and they're not gonna like it. They're gonna have, act up. So once we get all the mats off, then we can start to work with why are you really angry? And we won't know until we get past that, all the, this tiny mats. And then when you bathe a dog in this condition, you don't know that it's knotted up the way it is. You thought you were doing right, but you missed a bunch of knots. I see them all over right here, all over right here, right here. I could just point them out. A groomer should be able to just point that, like that's matted. A real, real, with experience, not a real groomer, but a, a person with experience can tell you this is all matted. This is probably matted from the harness that you guys are using. Make sure you take it off at night and line brush. So this is all matted, not here. Look, not right there, right there, but right here at the skin. All right, let's take it all off. We're doing 10 blades, summer haircut. Boom, all of it's coming off right now. Can you see what I mean? Tight, like I'm, t I'm holding the tip, but down at the end, it's matted there. This is short. Let's backtrack and move into a seven blade. Let's take a look at that, okay? Let's see if it's safe enough to do that. It's so close that you won't even be able to tell once it's all a seven that there was a 10 right there. That's how close it is in the amount of hair it leaves on the body. Seven blade and a spice speed. You can shop at myfavoritegroomer.com. You don't like the butt, you don't like the butt touch? If some dogs pet attack when they, someone touches the butt, I'm gonna remind you, most places, turn around. Most places will do an anal gland expression whether you ask them or not. So in my opinion, if you, if you wanna know how they do it internally or externally, watch the short that I just did the other day. Go to shorts on my dashboard on YouTube watch the anal gland expression video. It's really important that you know not all dogs need that manually expressed, which means if a groomer or bather is doing every single dog in their facility when they come in, I think that's a disservice. 
Not all dogs need that. No, not all dogs need you doing that manually. So you shouldn't do that. So if someone's constantly doing it and they're doing it, just watch that video. And if they're doing it, the external, and they're not getting all the fluid or it's painful and that dog don't like it and the dog hates it and it hurts, then he could be acting like that from now. Or any dog that nips at you when you go to touch their bone, that could be what it is. If you don't know, you don't know till you know. Right? If you keep dancing on the table, I will have to tighten the groom loop because that's what the groom loop does. It keeps you from doing this whole dance thing. When you spin your body around and dance like that, this is a moving blade. It, like in the kitchen, this is a moving blade. And I, I can't believe you're falling asleep right now while I'm talking to you. You know, because that means you're not listening. And I know a lot of people that kind of do that. As soon as someone talks too much, like mostly men, they don't want to listen all the way. They start falling asleep and it's like disattaching from the conversation and it's funny because you're a male dog so now you're falling asleep but if I start clipping you while I'm talking if you start if you do, if you need me to keep talking so you can focus on trying to take a nap then I will do that okay if that works for you we can talk about you know how the weather is we can talk about you know your new family because you've been there what a few months now you've been there five months now but like last in the last year you got there you don't like your, okay, well, I'm trying to work with you here. You know what I mean? I'm going to talk a lot. If you want me to talk a lot and that calms you down, I'm cool. I'll talk. I'll keep talking. Some people might not like it. They want me to be quiet. But every time I talk, you try to fall asleep. You know, and if that makes you fall asleep, great. If I, you, if I don't have to sing, then that's really cool because then I don't have to sing. You know, I can just talk, right? Because when I'm talking, you don't seem to... Like get mad, too too bad, right? Except for your bum right there. I mean that that you didn't like that. Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what happened with your bum, but I'm not gonna give you I'm not doing anal plans, at least not today. You might actually need them, I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. We're getting a little wild. Is that teeth? You showing me teeth already? Huh? You showing me teeth already? You know, I've seen a lot of teeth. You know what I mean? I've seen a lot of teeth, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm not messing with, I don't want your, I don't want your anal glands. I really don't. I, I ain't even trying to go there with it, okay? But if you keep spinning, I'm just going to take what's right in front of me, okay? So, like, right now, it's your foot, okay? Yep, it's your foot. And I'm going to, oh, oh, yeah, I think you try to get me. You tried to get me. Yes, you did. Yes, sir. You tried to get me. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. All right. We got to work something out here. This whole jumping around thing is just not working for me. Okay. That's dangerous. Okay. Hold on. I'll see. Quite honestly, the cone head is there, but it does not cover his mouth. Long, it's not long enough to cover. He can he can still get me. So now I have to try to get this one on. That's a lot of cone heads from one little guy. All right, now I really want to work with him here. You have to go through it with me here. Come on, you got to go through it with me. Let me see. This is not even pulling, so you're holding your breath. I need you to breathe, okay? You're only, what, five years old, right? Okay, you walk a mile a day. You walk a lot, a mile, a mile every two days. Okay, whatever you've been through, we're going to stop doing now, okay? Okay? Here. Come on, focus. Focus. And if you're resting to attack, I, I'm aware. All right, I am aware. You want to lay down? Are you, are you testing me? Are you tricking me? Okay, I'm gonna let go of you then. Let me see this one. Let me see. Let me see it. Let me see it. Are you gonna attack? Don't attack, okay? Don't attack. You're holding my hand now. Now you're holding my hand, okay? I'll take it, man. I'll take it. I'll take all of it and that mama too. Yes, sir. You wanna hold my hand? I'm, I'm down. But now if you wanna hold my hand, 
He's literally holding my hand right now. You can let go if you want. Okay, I'm gonna switch out. See if this gets you upset. Oh, yeah, it did. Yes, it did. Oh, shoot. Hey, hold on, hold on. Diesel, 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 diesel. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, diesel. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Shh. Whatever happened didn't happen here, okay? buddy, huh? I'm real sorry what happened, okay? Whatever happened, I'm really sorry. Okay? All right? Yeah. All right, buddy? Whatever happened, I'm so sorry. All right? I don't know if you're going to give it to me or not today, but whatever you're going through, I accept it, okay? You can give it to me. I don't know that you're gonna give it to me today. I'm gonna try a little longer so that you can get through it, but I will bring your mama in here to help you. If you don't calm down, I will bring her in here, okay? We all been through some stuff, haven't we? Are you going to meet or do you meet? Did you meet? Have you met people that understand? Gonna take time with him. It's gonna take time, and I don't want him pitting it all out here. Pet parent, come on in. Are you here? Yes. Oh Shut the door behind you, and then um, I'll have you stand there. You see what I don't want him doing, yeah? Yes. And so I wanted to work with him alone for a minute, okay? So uh, don't rescue him, don't rescue him, but just hold him. What I mean is, oh, I got you, none of that, okay? So you can put your hands on him, not, the, not that, yeah, not this, this is, okay, just grab him, he, you love him, yes. grab him like you love him for a minute. Tell him, but you gotta say no. No, no, Diesel, no, baby, no, stop. I'm just taking this one off. He can still bite me through that. Um, yeah. Those are pretty short, which is why I put that okay. one on there. Thank you, Lady Ray. Woohoo! 
Thank you, Lady Ray. Okay. With your assistance here, because you're watching, waiting, and sitting, and you can see what's going on, I want to be able to say, we're not going to push him to overboard. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, let me adjust everything. Okay. And I would love to work with him for three hours, but it's not good for him. No. So, um, here. Watch this. This is, it needs to stay loose, okay? And you watch your nails, okay? So I don't chip them when I'm grooming. Okay. And here, you can grab his forearms. There you go, like that. Keep this loose, mm -hmm. okay? This is just a backup plan for me. And now I'm going to, we're gonna do this side, the legs, body, feet, all that together, then flip them. I'll do that side and then hopefully be done except for the face then. Okay. Right? So that's what I'll be working on now. Guys, good there? That's good. Okay. So back here is a lot of poop. Yes. Right? This poop could be the problem. It might not be the anal gland thought I had. Now I'm seeing why. It's poop sticks, pulls, and tightens. Right? And it hurts. So maybe that's what it is. Okay? We'll know after the couple grooves. Yes. So I'm taking all that off. Okay. Which is why, this is why you needed me. Yes. Because you're doing some trimming, but you're not doing deep anything. No. Oh yeah, there's lots of dry poop here. I try, but he doesn't let me. It's okay. It's okay. Um, now we know, and now we can work together on it. Okay. Yes. Even if it means I see you monthly for, and um, and he's good. Yeah. See, he's still tucking it in. He doesn't want me back here either. He don't like it. But look at all this poop back here. Like no matter if he likes it or not, it has to come off. No. Tell him no. 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 Diesel. No. All this poop right here. Diesel, no. Has to come out. You hang in there. Diesel. You hang in there. Diesel, All these no. dingleberries, they need to come off. No. Don't get mad. No. Diesel. Don't get mad. No. Diesel. Diesel. No. Diesel. We quit tucking that. I, you don't even have a tail, bro. No. Let me see. I'm going to pull these chunks of Diesel. Off. Shh. Diesel. Diesel. He is intact. He's intact. So he came from a rescue situation, but he still um, has his. Yes. Interesting. Yes. What's that's next? Um, can I have you remove your watch? Yes. I got him. I got him. Go. Go, go, go. No, 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 diesel, stop, no, no, stop, stop fighting it, stop, stop, you're okay, you're okay, stop, stop,
curl. Wow. That is a wow. <laughs> People just always think it's easy, you know? Easy to read the dog, easy, and I'm purposely letting him rest. Mm -hmm. Easy to read the dog, easy to do the groom. He ain't that mean, that ain't that, this and that. Unless you're in the room, or unless you found me, there's a reason why people find me. It isn't like, I'm, I don't groom regular dogs usually. <laughs> she had to look for me. Yes, I did. using my template. I did, I skipped back over to the template once he started fighting a lot. And um, I didn't want to have to keep wondering, is it seven? Is it matted or not matted? And so I just went ahead and dropped it over to a template. I'm just doing what I need to do with that. So we can just get the job done since he's very stressed out. She's so tiny, you could just fling his whole body yes. on you like a little rat, right? Yes. Freaking no. kicking off your body and everything. You're a bouncy board now. No. Stop. So everything you don't like is because there's something there. Knots, mats, twigs, leaves, poop. Don't move. So mom was saying she could scissor his face and everything like that, but honestly, there's a lot that she's missing. Yeah. <laughs> and in my mind, I was like, oh, okay, so I won't have to do too much work. She's, she's able to do a bunch of stuff, but no, there's a lot here. He's not matted to the gill like I showed you some of the yeah. videos, but his attitude comes with it, right? Yeah. I don't know if you can see that tangle looking at me, mm -hmm. sticking out from in between. Mm -hmm. It's just straight up looking at you, right? See how it's all oh, yeah. in there? Did you see yesterday's live at all? Yeah. Where I took the comb and went this way? Did you see that? I saw the one that you did in the morning. Yes, yeah, so I took a comb and I went. I okay. pulled that comb here. Not that you're gonna do this, I don't know what he'll let you do over time, mm -hmm. but if you wanted to see if he's knotted, you would come through and that's, that was, all, the, see there's tangles there, mm -hmm. right? This is not going to lie to you. Okay. So then here, you're going to check right there. You're going to come in this way and see, does it pull? There is a little one. I already shaved it. There's still a tiny bit, but you would come through and make sure. See, it's kind of tangly, but not matted. But if it gets stuck in there, you have a mat in there. And that's between the toes here. Okay, like that. So you can always do that, especially when you have little dogs where they're licking themselves. If you right. notice he's really cleaning himself on his pads, his feet, you want to take a look before you bathe them because then it gets tighter. Okay. Or before it's raining outside and they're walking in the rain, okay? When dogs walk in the rain, all their paws get wet and everything like that, and it's going to be matted later.
See how the tangles are under there? Mm -hmm. I'm not left handed, but I'm going to try to get in there. I'm here and that's hanging out, so I'll just take it, but we're not going to do the switch just yet. I'm going to okay. do the feet on the side and then we'll do the switch. Okay. So you've never seen them groom, right? No. You've never. just been told what? Tell, tell them a couple things you've been told. Well, I've just taken them once, taken them once. Okay. And they just told me he wasn't the fit for them. Wasn't a good fit? No. So was that their way of saying don't come back? Yes. Okay, okay. How many times have we heard that? Yeah. <laughs> don't come back. Yeah. We were banned from XYZ, right? And they didn't do his head. They just did his body. So let me ask you this. Did they bathe him? I don't know. Well, you couldn't tell. He wasn't wet. No. Do you think he likes you holding him? He's, I think he's okay. He's seeing me. He's looking at me. Come here. Versus someone else though. Yeah, probably. Shh. You okay? Shh. You okay? Shh. So we're going to do the same place, same thing, but I'm going to change blades and now I'm going to do his feet while we're in that same position. Okay. So when we turn around, I don't have to come back and do his feet over here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's go. Welcome. Head to you over here. No, no. No. Diesel. Diesel, no. No. Good. Good, mom. Good. Keep that loose. Okay. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There. You're good. You don't have to move or lean or anything like that. Mm -hmm. You're good, babe. Remind me, does he let you bathe him? You? Yes. Okay. Without biting? Only when I dry him. Only when you dry him. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like the towel. For some reason. I don't know. So these two feet toes on these two nails and the ones that need to be trimmed is this one and this one. Mm -hmm. Same thing on that one. We have more meat to trim on the outside one, but this tippy toe on the middle is okay. kind of yeah. kind of cute. Okay, and I'm gonna do this paw here before we switch and head over that way. Head that this way. Okay, Hi, baby. You've had them since September or September? September 2022? 22. Mm -hmm. And they didn't tell you what any problems. Nope. Just that he was five years old. Five years old. They, when they gave him to me, he didn't look like a Yorkie. He looked like a Chihuahua. Okay. He was completely oh. bald. Wow. Not even like this. No, he was bald. He like straight up head, head, no everything, hair. nothing. Was it, so, what? Yeah. Was that? Um, it didn't look like the picture. <laughs> it didn't look like a no. picture. Is it because they did a really short haircut or because he wasn't healthy enough to have hair? I'm not sure. Wow. Because she just said um, the groomer just gave him, I guess, a like a, a shortcut. And oh, she took this, is, out. this is the shortest I would go on it. Yeah. Well, this, this is longer than that shortcut. I'll show you the picture. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> are you all hearing this? <laughs> he was short. This is a 10 blade down. The one thing I will do is a 7 reverse, which is a tiny bit shorter than this, yeah. but not that. I would look like a chihuahua. And I thought I did short haircuts. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Right, you guys? All the way. Okay, I'm not going to nitpick because I can. Um, let me check here real quick.
are you doing? I'm good. Good? Mm -hmm. good. Temperature, you're good? I'm good. Great. The arm still hurting? Nah, good. I'm going to weigh anything. But we have improvement on him. I really do. Yes. It'll be kind of interesting to see because he is pretty, pretty bad, pretty yes. feisty. The spinning, jerking, he doesn't know, but the spinning and all that will hurt him. Yeah. His neck and everything like that. Okay. Um, so I did the pads and the nails on all of them except for this nail. Uh -huh. So when we turn that way, I'm going to work on that side of the body and then that last padded nail. Okay? okay. So we'll do the same, just flip him that way and his head on this side of your body. Hold on. Look at mom. Look at mom. Look over there. Good boy. Look. Diesel. Look. Know what you guys can see, but I'm gonna try to give you a better view and work with me here. Um, work with me here, you guys. Is that better for you? A little bit better. Okay. Should have done his bum looking like this, huh? Okay, I'll, 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 I'll be done. Look over there. Look at mom. Don't worry about me over here. I keep thinking about her nails. If you get in a fight, man, I'll just poke your eyeball out. Her nails, she got them nails to be like, don't you? I'll poke you with these. That's my weapon. I don't need a knife or nothing. I got these talons. They're so sharp. Look at, show them. They're so sharp, man. Look at that sharpness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I did a video the other day. It says if you have fake nails, don't do anal gland. If she, ha you better <laughs> do not squeeze an anal gland with nails like that. Okay, don't do it. Don't be even be a, don't even be a bather if that's what you're doing. <laughs> nope, no, not allowed. Nope, not at all. Put them on for the weekend, take them off for work. So how long do the nails like that do you take though? To how long do they last? Or to, to put, put on? on? Three hours. Three hours! That's as long as a groom! Yeah. <laughs> and I just broke Ooh. one this morning. What? I broke one this morning. You broke one this morning? Yeah. And then it takes how long to fix it? Oh, not that long. It's not that long. because it's just one. But then if you go in to fix it, it's like you have to book an appointment, go in to fix it, maybe it takes 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, 30 minutes? To fix it, probably. Really? Just one. Just yeah. fix one. Oh, it did break. Mm -hmm. it broke. How did you, it looked like it tore your finger too. No. It, what it, is uh, that? It's the nail. Oh, and gosh. It looks like it's painful. It, no. No? I cut my nail, actually, because my nail was long. So, because it was, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. like that. Right, so, right, it was right. long. So, just the tip broke. Oh. I didn't even feel it. Oh, oh gosh. And I was what were you doing, man? I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know I had fallen off until I was putting my shoes on. I was like, wait. Where's my nail? Because you're nail. supposed to be like. Yeah. <laughs> do the pads here and the nail and then we're done here and I think I've done most of his body here I can't tell on your hands just yet okay but I will check and then we're gonna come and try the face together 
Oh, I did the pad already. Oh, wait. Let me see. No, I did both back nails. I need to do that. This arm. one. Yeah, that's right. The front arm. Yeah. This is quieter, but can you tell how the motor is not as strong, mm -hmm. right, um, as the other clipper? It's barely like, come on, take it off. Right? You feel me? Mm -hmm. Not much in there, but that's good. When you do this, though, see how red it is inside? Yeah. It, that, that tells me, it feels like, in my opinion, I would be like, hmm, does he have allergies? So if they're always red or he's itching, now you can kind of start paying attention because I'm calling it out. Mm -hmm. So on both, on like when you look in here, yeah. is it raw? Does it seem raw to you? Well, to me it does. Yeah, so it looking at how hot, it's kind of a hot pink. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be the grass, but it ain't that bad yet. So if it gets worse, let's really pay attention. The months it happens, does it happen all year round? Is it just in springtime is it just in april may june and that's true it could just start a little mental diary yeah and next year it's the same thing and the third year it's really bad his feet have no hair because he chews it off then it's just like well every april may june he has a problem so then in march you're going to give an allergy pill all all month and then get prepared for april and it won't pop is that cool yeah if you get his system ready for that allergy then it won't pop up it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Unless at some point you're doing it for five or six years and all of a sudden that doesn't work anymore. You have to change medicines or something like that. That's if it's, that's what it is. I'll know better if I can see his yeah, ears. I'm sure it is because he, we, we, really? have, we have, um, oh, we have a huge yard. Oh, you said, I told him that. Yeah, a huge yard and uh, it's like a forest and he oh. gets in Everything. the bush. The bushes, and that's why he had twigs and stuff on his Okay, head. okay, gotcha. And he had these little green things that stick to him, and when my husband cuts the grass, he comes in with leaves. I have very big trees. Wow, okay. And the leaves fall, and he comes in with his hair like this, and he has leaves all over. Okay. Well, we are going to go to the face now. So let's um, bring him down, and I'm going to slowly start. You're going to stay in that position. Okay. And I'm gonna te I want you to test this hold, okay? You're gonna do, he's gonna look at me. Uh -huh. You're gonna do two hands like this, thumbs on his, but you're just testing it right now because he's, uh -huh. he's wearing all this. Yeah. I want you to just test the hold for me. Just go ahead, hold his head. You're gonna have his head looking at me. You're gonna, yep, yep, yep. And I'm gonna get up in there and start moving around. He may not like it, we'll see how he does. We're gonna test okay. this situation, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. I'm not really excited about this part, but don't know how he will behave. Here we go. Hi. What's this? What's this? Mm. Can I pet you here? Okay. 
Remember, be sure you're breathing. How you doing, Mom? I'm good. How do you feel? See some of those tangles in there? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about? That's yeah. why I was like, this has got to go. Yeah. yeah. Are the whiskers hurting that I'm trimming? I think so. Yeah. Is he, well, is he showing you signs of pain? Yeah. Tell, can you? Or unless you unless I did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you just wash his face, guess what? He gets nodder, tighter, tighter, mm -hmm. and then it's pulling, it's painful, and you don't know why he's pissed. You know, you don't know if you're not sure, he won't let you touch the face. Mm -hmm. whatever work you are doing is, is worth it. Mm -hmm. If you're going to make him upset or uncomfortable, I mean, you're really getting it out of there. dogs sometimes react. So we'll be in a great session mm -hmm. and then boom, that freaking phone rings. It's like, dang, like, dang, the dog changes. But he's, he didn't change, but 
I should definitely keep assigned one because I forget. And I had one lady, her dog ripped off the, remember that lady ripped off their jewelry? And so that's why I'm like, oh, dang, I should put that too. When you come in this room, you must to remove all your jewelry. <laughs> remove all your jewelry, your watch. And that one guy, he dropped his or whatever watch, it got broke. Remember that? Yeah, well, it didn't get broke. It's got scratched up. Thank you so much, Pookie Puppy. Okay, we're almost done with the face here. You might not like the part where we have to go to the ears, but I am going to try to whip a muzzle on like fast like. So mom asked me yesterday, this mom, she said, how long do you think it's going to take? <laughs> I said, what did I say? I was like, I can't predict it, honestly. No. I, can't, I cannot predict it if I don't know. This tiny dog, wouldn't you want to say an hour? Mm -hmm. An hour? It's going to take me an hour. Yeah. Okay. Um, ooh, look at your handsomeness. Face this, face them this way. Ooh, what do you guys think so far, huh? Wow. Look at you. Huh? Seriously, man. Ooh. Oh. Did he burp? I don't know. Can I put this on? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, don't get mad. It's real loose. Mom, just stay there. You can hold this. Like, mm -hmm. look how loose it is. Okay. Shh. Keep it on. Okay. Keep it on. <clears throat> you did a lot of good work here. I don't want to ruin it now. Okay. He doesn't want to move now, huh? He's not moving at all. Goof head, man. You're a goof head. Don't do that. What are you doing? <laughs> You might not like it, but I'm going to try to touch your ear. He can bite through the muzzle. That's why I say all these things. Mm -hmm. I want to pull all that out, but it's painful. Let's do it next time. Okay. Even if you say, Dee, I'm going to come in in a month for just a nail trim or something like that, we'll get it done. Mm -hmm. I don't mind if you want to even come. There's not a lot. okay with he's okay with me pulling his ear hair out watch um he's probably gonna try to bite me i, I have a feeling he's gonna try to bite me and do trim his ears i just have this feeling so i'm gonna do that follow your gut because if you don't sometimes that's how you get hurt emotionally and physically They say, I'll teach you right now, they say that our gut is our second brain because everything ends in, it, it goes to our gut, goes through our gut. So if, if you feel like, girl, dang man, everything's going off on you. 
It's the mailman. <laughs> it's the ring it's out. The <laughs> mailman. What time of day is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. That one. That one's yeah. messing. <laughs> they say everything doesn't, okay, every, all the, um, I'm <clears> messing <throat> this up, but everything goes to your feet, right? All the nerves end in your feet. So have, if you're going through a lot of stuff, pick out the areas that look it up and go get your foot massage every day. And then the other thing is like, if you have a gut instinct, it's because your gut is probably right. It's probably telling you because your brain sensors are in your stomach too. And your intestines trying to tell you about your organs and tell your body what to do about certain things. So follow your gut. Ooh, ooh I kind of think you might have started liking this. Mm. Can I look in here? Let me just pull it out like that. That's a good boy. Yes, it is. How can you do this, but other stuff you didn't like? Huh? Maybe nobody hurt you when they pulled your ear hair out? You didn't have, they didn't do it. That's probably why. They probably just couldn't even get close enough to try to do it. And then, you know, because you were so upset with your face. Look at that. Look at all that ear hair I got. You want to smell? No, not really? Okay. Well, some dogs want to smell. You know, you are a dog. All right, honestly, we're done here. So. Before we leave, Lee, I'm going to, what's that? No, I'm here right now. Oh, is there? Thanks. I couldn't see you. Yeah. Did I get it? Yeah. Anything else that you notice over there? Because I mean the position. Yeah, kind of the. That's true. That's true. Wipe off real quick, okay? And um, don't get mad now. I'm gonna click you here. No, you're good, you're good. Mom can click that muzzle. Yeah, click the muzzle. I know you're worried. It's okay. You're okay. We're all done with that. All right, now let's get a look. Look at you. All right, I'll just ask you here, are you happy? Yes. Are you happy? Do you feel better? Was it cool to be able to be here called in? Yes, it was. Um, be able to watch? <clears throat> watch and help you with this. Really help him. Yeah. All right. Um, hold his head for me. Don't let him bite me as I come in and just trim this. He might be like, oh, that feels a little wispy, so he might just trigger. It's just baby stuff. It's not a big deal. Mats are off. That kind of thing's really mm -hmm. important. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to nitpick too much. Okay, head up for me. Head up. Okay, yeah, there's a good boy. That's a good boy. When something kind of would tickle me, it kind of would upset a dog. You know what I'm saying? That wispy little, for some reason, it just, oh, they, got, they didn't like it. But he did good. He did good for that. Okay. All right, we see you in the bathtub. We go to the bathtub now, okay? All right. Okay, um, I'm going to stop here. Why don't I let you carry him and you come with me? Okay. Okay, let's do that. Because he's still giving me that dirty look. Be right back, folks.
because my, my rescue cat might come say hello to you guys. And I gotta grab the camera for this. Okay, here we go. This is something else. Oh, no, sir. Uh -huh. Give me just a couple minutes. Did the cat come say hi to you? Did kitty cat come say hi? We're almost done.
from Poland. That's so cool. That's so cool. What's up, Poland? Make sure you just hit the share button with your friends. That's awesome. real quick. Thanks a lot for hanging out. 35 of you guys. Be sure to hit that like button. Appreciate you guys. Guys and gals. Make sure she didn't leave something. Nope. Okay, so I'm looking at, oh, I better set, let me set an alarm so I don't forget. Because I have to be, shoot, it's four o'clock. Um, choo -choo -choo -choo. Alarm, clock. So let's do 4.30, edit, da 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 da. By 4.40, I need to be done, and let's make sure that this is, okay, great. Set your alarm so you don't forget stuff. All right, Pookie Puppy says, please support Didi by hitting the like button. Thank you, Pookie. Woohoo, moderators. Love all those colorful hearts. Thank you. I have dog, I'm stuff, and she has five years, and she's very nice dog. Ooh, five years old. This one's five years old, too. She like people, kids, and everything. No, sir, not today, Linda says. Nope, no, sir. He, oh, my gosh. In the bathtub? Whoa. It was like, bah, he came right back out. That, that thing came out. Joey says, Yorkie thinking. Nope, they all lying. <laughs> oh, you guys make me laugh. Pookie puppy, or I'm not, I'm not going to get away with anything. Laugh out loud. Lady Ray May, thank you so much. Hey, Didi, catching your live. Finally, love you, girl. Love you back. Thank you. Keep them coming. Keep those donations coming. Lady Ray says, hey, Pookie Puppy, you guys are chit-chatting. Awesome. <sighs> Pookie Puppy says, he's a fast one. Yeah, I got to go back and rewatch this. This is some good stuff. Camaro Girl, what's up? Laugh my A off. Dee Dee says, she says, that Yorkie spin. I know, over and all. I was like, oh, gosh, man, how long am I going to let him do that? Lady Ray May says, wow, can't imagine what someone done to that poor little guy. 
And there was a moment I scooped him up. I just scoop, I just wanted to hug him and hold him, and that's not always what they want, is it? And even children, that's not you want to scoop them, hug them, hold them, rescue them, repair them, fix them. But we can't. We can try to let them know we're not doing what they did, what someone else did. But we are not going to save them. They have to trust us. And children are the same or adults are the same. And sometimes adults are harder to fix and adults never come back from the trauma they've been through. And children may never come back either, but you can try to be there because they are children and their minds are still growing and changing evaluating themselves or unable to evaluate at all. So I did, I scooped him up and grabbed him and held him as if I could take away his pain and just a hug, but that's not true. Lady Ray May says, yes, we have been, yes, we have something been and I get it. I think y'all have to get mama. You know I did. Cheryl says, people should fix their dogs. Not fixing is a major contribution to aggressive behavior. Poor dog is wild, not fair to him or the groomers. Cheryl, I believe in fixing in his age, a five-year-old dog should be fixed. She rescued this dog in September 2022. It's just May 2023. Eh. I try not to judge too much. I might say things I see this dog is matted, this dog is mean, this dog is aggressive, but I'm not gonna come tell you how to do your hair, nor am I gonna come tell you how to raise your dogs, and nor am I gonna put my opinions on you and try to make you, see, make you do my opinion. I think that that's an intelligence factor, that when we sit back and able to understand how people think and how people are, can we yet understand ourselves? If I have problems, how can I go and tell you to fix your problem? If I don't like your problem, if I don't like the way you think, if I don't like the way you're not handling your dog, I don't have to groom your dog, I don't have to touch you, I don't have to talk to you, I don't need to impose, but I also don't need to judge you. If that makes sense, that's how I think. Again, I'm not trying to have you think like that, but I wouldn't come to your house, your work, your channel, and I wouldn't tell you to do your hair a certain way or not to do it a certain way or tell you, tell your client to get that dog neutered or spayed. I just wouldn't do that. Because I wouldn't want it done to me. I would say, like, I would say I would probably get him neutered only because I know for a fact that most of my clients who have had their dogs as a senior dog intact at an older age, female or male, have all come down with cancer. I will, uh, that's a fact. That's a fact in my business. So I would share that rather than, oh, that's a, that's a, I don't know if it comes, there's no tone to writing. It's how we process it or maybe how it sounds when you read it out loud. But there is no tone to text. So it could come a bunch of different ways. Your opinion is your opinion and you have the right to that. But it also shows that you're trying to, I feel like, tell this owner to go get the dog neuter because it has an effect on the aggression of the dog, which I don't believe that in this dog. Because I've groomed a many aggressive dogs that are neutered. All of them. <laughs> Very rarely do I actually have a dog on here that has an intact. My dogs are all intact, you know, not all of them. My rescues aren't, but I have some intact dogs and they're not aggressive. But food for thought. Maybe you got some value out of that. Maybe open your mind. If, if you can sit down and hear what someone says and understand, that's different than, no, I ain't going to think like you, you know, like that's a different type of person, different. That's not an open mind. Okay, so Joey says, praying for Diesel to relax and trust. Linda says, oh my FG, you are cracking me up with the man analogy. It's true. How, oh gosh, I have some stories to tell you, which I don't know I'm sure I'm ever to tell you, but they don't listen. It's just like they start to zone out, just like, and it's like, you're not listening. Yes, I am. What did I just say? Well, you said something. It's just like, it's like not even all the way right. <laughs> true okay I lost you guys lady Ray May, so Joey I did say what you said praying for diesel to relax and trust lady Ray says I second that Joey when the mom came in the room I did see him kind of relax 
Cheryl, Diesel is a rescue. The owner just said neutering is next. I agree that unless you are breeding, that dog should be fixed. I brush my Yorkie morning and night, and she gets groomed every four weeks. Mats are no fun, S. Star says. Pookie Puppy, the parent assist is helping a lot. Yes, it, she was. She, he, he fell in love with her. And he, when he came into their house, he was man aggressive. So he was growling at the husband immediately. And he, the husband was like, oh, no, uh <laughs> You're not in my house. He's like, not in my house, sir, you know. And they have a bulldog, too, and they get along great. Lady Ray May says, I lost him a week at the parent system. I lost him a week before his 13th birthday. He only showed signs of sickness for four or five days before he was gone. Wow, that's fast. Pookie says, so sorry for your loss. We are all sorry for your loss. Diesel loves and trusts his mama. Absolutely. He, that's what I just said that. Thank you, Pookie Puppy. Okay, thank you for, teach, for speaking to each other. I probably should have done all that by speech. I'm not really sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm seeing the misspelling here, you guys. Re read before you hit enter. Dee Dee and her bag of tricks. Oh, I pulled out some tricks today. All of them. Lady Ray says, Dee Dee's humming along with the clippers running was making me sleepy. I have a tendency to do that. I love watching Dee Dee with these babies. Thank you, Lady Ray May. Camaro Girl says, great work, Dee Dee. Yeah, woo! Everyone say, woo! Another successful group. Lady Ray, Ray May, that's really, that's a long thing. Lady Ray says, what happened? He was falling asleep also. <laughs> he was. Diesel is relaxing, closing his eyes. Oh, it just look, just, I know, right? Just look at him. He's like, what? So cute. Starting to lick with the muzzle on. Okay, I didn't see that. I got that muzzle for Mara. I, I had to twist the long side to tighten it up around the neck. Agreed. So nothing's ever perfect, you know, Joey? And even here, I'm like, hold it back. But as long as it's on, it buys you time. And it's helpful. But they never make it just right, you know? You can have one custom made, but uh, you have to go locally and say, hey, tighten this for me or whatever. And they will. Go to a local seamstress and let them tighten it for your dog. Do the inches and say, tighten it here for me. They will. Sew it, like, sew it up, you know? Lady Ray says, my gut is the Holy Spirit since my salvation. Amen, sister. That's true. That's exactly it. Everyone says, hello. Hi, Alyssa. What a fantastic job. Thank you, Pookie. Awesome. Glad you're here. Dude, always, dude, I think it said Dee Dee, but a dude comes across. I love it because I lived in California, but dudes always does a great job. Thank you, Lady Ray. Oh, gosh. Where's the office manager? I need one. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sylvia says, I remember watching you on Periscope. Have to, happy to find you again. Periscope. I don't know what that is. Maybe I should go figure out what that is. Someone copying all my videos over there. Hester Papillon says, Pop, Papillon says, Sylvia Didi is the best dog groomer I've ever seen. Thank you, Hester. Where did, that, where did you hit a million subscribers? No, not subscribers. Million, 1.3 million watch time in 48 hours. Diane says, a.k.a. Grandma D, all my YouTube settings changed. Someone gifted me a subscription. Thank you. Diane Pruitt Prum. Diane Prum, not sure what to do with it, but now is not a good time to figure it out. Not really sure, but please do figure it out. If you did get gifted a membership, it's immediate, isn't it, you guys? It's immediate. So... Maybe you're logged on to a different account at this point. But, okay, everybody, I'm going to sign off from there. Thanks so much for writing. Let me scan over to Facebook and make sure I didn't miss any Facebookers. Nope, I don't see any writers on Facebook. But thanks so much for chiming in and watching this aggressive Yorkie groom. I appreciate you guys so much, and I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to share the video and hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next live video. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye. Come hang out with me.